Judy cooking. 360. So today I'm making a pie, a pumpkin pie. But this is my dough. So I have here one and three quarters cup of flour. And I have here one and three quarters cup of flour. And I'm gonna do, this is frozen. I just took it out of the freezer. I'm gonna cut this up in small pieces. Stick and a half of butter. Come on. I guess because it was in the freezer, it got all stuck together. But anyways, here we go. Okay. All right. One and a half stick of butter. And a tablespoon of sugar. Half of a teaspoon of salt. water here. I'm just gonna blend this a little bit. Ooh. I'm just gonna pulse this a little bit until it they become a lot smaller. what we're looking for small pieces so now I have here I'm gonna be putting in eight tablespoons of water start with that first I also have in here in here a three four five Six, seven, eight. I also have in here a tablespoon of vinegar. Now we just want to bring this together. That didn't do it. Let's see. don't want to put too much water because you, you want your dough to be flaky. Let's just put one more. Two. So in all, about 10 tablespoons of water. Believe me, that should do it now. There we go. And you just wanna pulse it or mix it up until it comes together. Turn it out 
on my clean surface. There we go. Let's get everything out, right? You can see the pieces of the butter. Alrighty. We're just gonna bring this together. That's all. That's what we're gonna do. Just bring it all together. Because you don't want your dough. You don't want to be playing around with your dough. And then I'm gonna wrap this up and put it to cool in the refrigerator for about half an hour. Maybe I should put another piece over it. Let's see. There we go. And this is gonna be cool. And then we're gonna roll it out in a half an hour and make our pie. So, I see you when we come back, when we're ready to make our pie, Tilly. Welcome back guys to my channel and we're continuing to make our sweet potato pie. Here's our dough that has been resting. Ooh. For half an hour in the refrigerator. see how much we can roll this out. Just a little flour that we need. Just a little. Because we want it to stay cold and firm so that when we put it in our pie dish And you can see the little pieces of butter in between. Okay. Put a little flour on our rolling pin here. Turn you around. Yeah, it, see what happened? It's very, very cold. Because I actually placed it in the freezer. See what happens here. Get me a scraper. Okay. 
see, I just moved the camera a little so that I could get my scraper. Okay. Not to worry. It's going to be good. And the beauty about it is you can always, once it goes in the pie dish, you can always fix it in there. Let's go. Let's go. Now this is a nine inch pie dish. There we go. This looks like it's more than the pie dish. Now if it's more, then guys, all you do is just cut it off. Just cut off the excess. We can make so many other things with the rest of it. Let's go. Cut this off. Yeah, just cut off the excess. You can probably make a, a tart with this, a small tart with that. There we go. Now, If you find there's a spot that doesn't have enough, take a little piece, patch it. Okay, that's my oven. I heated it to um, my oven to 425. I started off at 425, and then for 15 minutes, and then I turn it down to 375 for 40 minutes. Okay, let's let's try this. Let's do that and get that going. Cuz this we're going to put in the refrigerator again to cool some more. Okay. There. See that? How easy was that? Okay, now we're gonna let it cool some more and make our filling in the meantime. Okay, this, we're sure to make a tart out of that. Nothing to worry about. So in here, I'm gonna put my 15 ounce can of pumpkin. Let's get everything out.
spread this out a little and then we're going to do two eggs. Yeah, you want to run away. Two eggs. Let's do some spices. A half a teaspoon of nutmeg and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder this is mace the smell is like old spice but this is mace it comes off of the nutmeg seed half a teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon of ginger ginger and I'm gonna put a teaspoon of vanilla because we want everything to be delicious tasty and satisfying and a half a teaspoon of salt. You know, salt brings out the flavor in everything, so we want to make sure that it's in there. Let's stir this up a little. sugar. There we go. Okay. And this is a tablespoon of tapioca starch. Now you can use corn starch. You can use whichever you prefer. Gives this a stir. Get everything incorporated. And everything combined, especially the sugar. You want to really mix that sugar in. Now, this is three quarter cup of evaporated milk. Let's see how well this goes. I left back maybe a tablespoon. So Everything smells so good. Our pie is chilled. Let's put you right there. 
I'm just making sure that everything is fully combined. Here we go. Look at that goodness. Oh my gosh. This is going to be tasty. You guys should make it. And let me know what you think. Okay, guys. I'm going to put this to bake. I'm going to put it on a tray. Put it to bake. The next time you see this, it will be fully baked. Okay? Thanks for watching. Judy Cooking 360. See you guys next time.